good afternoon folks uh, revolutionary brewer here and we're back with another homebrew beer kit review and a uh, little bit of a historic day here today we're going to be brew or reviewing for the last time ever a brew craft brew so this is going to be the bavarian wheat ale and the reason it's going to be the last uh, brew craft review is because they've actually um, changed the name of their kits to mangrove jack uh, what's happened is Brewcraft used to have two series of kits. One was in 1.8 kilogram uh, cans of malt, and the other was 1.5 kilograms of uh, can malt. And basically what they've done is they've just renamed the kits uh, Mangrove Jack and have standardized the size to 1.7 kilograms of malt, which is basically your standard uh, homebrew kit these days. So that's what's going on there. Um, in other news, I'd just like to send a big thanks out to the fine folks at uh, MakeBeer.net. Um, kind enough to send down a uh, kit of Australian Pale Ale, uh, Cooper's Kit. For some reason, that's one of the Cooper's Kits that you I couldn't find locally. I went to all the homebrew stores and just that particular kit. I don't know why they didn't carry it. So he was kind enough to send down a uh, kit and some uh, brew enhancer and we're going to give that a try coming up shortly. Uh, stay tuned, we'll have that review. And uh, But today, like I said, we've got the Brewcraft Bavarian Wheat Ale. This is brewed in a Mil Miller Genuine Draft bottle. There's a little bit of chill haze on it, and the bottle's ice cold, so it's a little bit cloudy, but this is a beautiful, beautiful looking beer. Nice and light colored, but let's open it up and uh, we'll give it a go and see how it turned out. We're going to pour in a nice Labatt blue glass, and we'll see what we get here. So far, so good. Uh, now these ones, what I usually do is a lot of people they don't like the yeast on the bottom they like a clear beer but me with these wheat ales I mix it up like that and I get the yeast right in there just drive it right in there and that's the way I like my wheat beers cloudy with that yeast in there it adds a little bit extra flavor and look at that a beautiful head on it and even with the yeast it's uh, it does cloud it up a bit but look it's still pretty clear very light very nice and light but, I mean, let's give it a taste. The proof is in the taste, so let's give it a go. Oh, unbelievable. The, the, like, this is an unbelievable beer. This is so nice and light, but you can really taste the wheat malts in here. Uh, this is, uh, commercially, if you like Hoe Garden, this is almost spot on. Almost spot on to Hoe Garden. I need to take another sip. That's that, that's unbelievable beer. These Brewcraft kits, I'm telling you, they, they make some unbelievable styles, some great beers. I'm just going to go ahead and pour the rest of that in, mix the yeast up a bit more. You don't have to put the yeast in. I mean, if you just want it to be crystal clear and uh, you don't happen to like the yeast, don't pour it in. That's all there is to it. Uh, so this beer made uh, pretty well the standard way. I went ahead and uh, used one Bavarian wheat brewcraft kit. One and a half pounds of high malt glucose, one and a half pounds of um, light malt extract, liquid malt extract. And as you can see, look at that beer. Now, this is going to be a very light, very refreshing beer. And uh, I mean, this is this is your... Uh, premium summertime beer as far as I'm concerned like on a hot summer day these just go down they're so refreshing and I need another drink it's so good like it's unbelievable that you can brew this good a beer in and from start to finish less than a month this is ready to go it's about this one was about 10 days in primary and I didn't do a secondary, just went straight to bottles and three weeks in the bottle. So you're looking at a month and you've got premium beer. This is, I mean, the taste of this stuff is just. So this, uh, this Brewcraft Bavarian Ale, it's a solid, I'm going to give it a solid 4.5 out of 5. This is a beer that is just, it's especially good in the summer, but if you're a fan of lighter beers, 
easy drinking beers, just uh, session beers. This is the one right here, Brewcraft Bavarian Wheat Ale. And if you like the flavor of your beers, if you like uh, you like a little bit of a blueberry flavor in your beer, maybe raspberry, uh, whatever your choice is, this is a perfect beer to add your uh, fruit flavor to because it's got a nice light flavor profile. And if you get the hint of that fruit in there, it's just going to blend beautifully. It's going to blend beautifully. And like these Brewcraft kits, unbelievable products. I I haven't gone wrong with one yet. It's pretty much the same with the Cooper's kits. I mean, right now, they're the two big kits. But coming up next, we're going to have a new contender in there. We got our next review is going to be a Mutton's Irish Stout. And uh, they're in the bottles. They've already been in the bottles for a couple of weeks, so they're just conditioning. They're carbon up, and uh, they're going to be ready to go to review fairly soon. Um, now, right now, I have a Mangrove Jack kit uh, just being ready to be bottled tonight. going to bottle that tonight, and then we're going to get to the uh, Cooper's Pale Ale. So, I mean, there's so many kits that I want to do. It's just a matter of time, and... Uh, you know, when you're homebrew and you get all these different ideas for kits. Another one we're going to have coming up in the future, I had a few people ask me about this, was uh, a brown sugar beer. And that's going to be a nice treat. I'm looking forward to doing that one. But we got a few coming up before that, so stay tuned. Anyways, folks, like I said, you want a nice, light, if you like a nice, light, uh, refreshing beer, it's uh, very lightly hopped, not bitter at all very smooth drinking i mean this stuff is just very very light and refreshing ideal on a hot summer day more so i find than cerveza this is really the ideal summer beer uh, similar flavor at uh, the whole garden almost exact to be honest with you but this is a great quality kit 4.5 out of 5 um definitely check it out you can't go wrong with the brewcraft uh Thanks again for watching. Uh, keep on brewing, folks, and uh, cheers.